Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. There's a live look from our Unico U.S. Bancorp Tower Building downtown Portland. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm in a seriously good mood. Our first guest created one of the most iconic TV characters of the 70s when he starred as Frank Poncherello on Chips. We welcome to AM Northwest the one and only Eric Estrada. So great to see you. Thank you. Yeah, great this great is to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, I know that you're in town for yes. the car show right. here at the center. Right. And um, it's going to be a wonderful weekend. The oh. folks are wonderful that run it. Yeah. It's all charitable. Yeah, it's an awesome organization. So tell me, though, let's start with Chips. Chips, Okay. Yeah. Iconic role. I know you've done a ton of things after Chips, a yeah. number of things. Before it, nine years. And of, before it. Of the stereotypical bad guy, uh, drug addict, murderer on Hawaii Five-0. I shoot a priest, arrogant tennis player, <laughs> medical center, a prisoner in Beretta, an arsonist in Kojak. I mean, I did it all. Wow. And I almost didn't get Chips because NBC said, no, we just saw him shoot a priest in Hawaii Five-0. Yeah. We saw him burn a building in Kojak. He can't be a good guy. But the creator of the show, Rick Rosner, said, you know what? Let's put him in your uniform. Let's sit him on a bike and let him talk a little bit. But didn't and you start out with kind of like your character was, was kind of uh, angry all the time? Well, he was a young the kid uh, yeah. on the show. He was a young kid and, and then John, you know, jumping his bike, uh, uh, off-road BMX, and and Larry Wilcox, my partner, yeah. Baker, saw me, and 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 so I was being like juvenile, and he just said, "Hey, man, you're a good rider. Why don't you try to become an officer? We could use the motor." And that's how I got on the force. Wow. Through him. Through him. Yeah. Okay, so you're a real police officer. Today, Today I am a you real. Are. Yeah. yeah, tell me about that. Well, okay. We got to take it back to when I was four years old. Okay. When I was four years old, my mother fired my dad. Uh-huh. Because he was stuck on the needle. Right. I grew up in Spanish Harlem, New York City. Then she started dating a cop. And I've only... This guy, I love this man. I only love two men in my life, my grandfather and this cop. Yeah. So from four to 17, I wanted to be a New York City police officer, and I was going to be. <clears throat> but in high school, in the last six months of high school, there was a pretty girl named Christine Laporte. Mm -hmm. That was her name. And, and she, she was, was in the drama club? She was fine. Yeah. yeah. And in the drama club. Yeah. So I figured, I figured, hey, I grew up in the streets of Harlem. I can act, just <laughs> audition, get in, get the girl. Yeah. I auditioned, got in, and got bit by the bug. Yeah. And then how did it feel to play a cop and have your stepfather see you as a cop? He must have been proud. Very proud. Yeah. Uh, so proud. Yeah, he was proud. And you had so many it. experiences uh, as, you know, playing Ponch on Chips. Yes, I, I did. I mean, I think about all the, when you think of all the episodes, you were, you. I got exposed to so much that so I. So much, yeah. That I, in my own life, would never have been exposed to. I saw there was a snake episode. Yes. And, 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 and not just a little snake, but a no, really it was big. It was a really large big one. snake, yeah. yeah. It was great. What was that like? It was a boa, and uh, it was there we really go. nice. And I got to tell It was you, really nice. You know why people. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it was great. She was. I could see why women love the texture of uh -huh. a snake. You touch the skin of a snake, you it's fall nice in love with it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I okay, fell wait, in love what with about it. this one? Did you fall in love with this guy too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's one of my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> you have, by the way, you have a beautiful wife. Yes. And a beautiful daughter. Yeah, you my know, you have sons baby. as well. But Francesca. your daughter is just stunning. Yeah, Francesca. Yeah. Yeah. So she, tell me a little bit about her. Because well, she's just gorgeous. You do, you, all three of you like to do things together, Steve. Yeah, we always, we hang. We hang yeah. very well together. Uh, my well, is daughter. This, is this you getting a mask at the, with the girls doing the mask? Well, my daughter says, come on, let's all do this. I go, okay. <laughs> you know, you know she, she says, uh, I want this and I want that. I go, no. She goes, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not from the tattoo era. Yeah. But my daughter at 18 says, I'm getting a tattoo. I said, no, you're not. That don't fly. That's not gonna happen. We put her, no, it's not gonna happen. Uh -huh. She goes, I'm 18 years old and I want to get grandma's name put here oh. and mommy's mother's name here. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll pay for it. And so much to the fact, look at this. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I got my wife over here, my daughter over here. She designed that. I got an eagle there and a tiger there. Wow. Go figure. Huh? <laughs> and once you got bit by the, the tattoo bug, then. Yeah, it's like a drug. Yeah. Okay, you were in the in the green room, in the dressing room. Yeah. You really pulled one over on me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so watch this, uh, everyone. Ow. Yeah. Ow, excuse me. Uh, ah, got it. Uh, there we go. Is it is it on? Yeah. Yeah, there mm -hmm. we go. It's uh, is yeah. it on straight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh. I thought, oh, wow, you're I so brave to show me your toupee. Yeah, she thought it was real. I thought it was no. real, as in real <laughs> toupee, but it's not. It is really your it's hair. A, it's a trick that I love to pull on people because I like to see the women's eyes go. <laughs> <laughs> you love being around people. I was wondering, like, why you do all these events, but it's clear. It's because you're a people person. Yeah, and I, I can't sit still. Yeah. I'm going to be 75 years old you, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow. Congratulations. Yeah. But you're going to be at the Portland Roadster. Yes, Roadster I am. Roadster I'm going to be there. And after 4 o'clock, it's going to be a French kissing booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Come on and wow. get yourself one. Wow. Come Do you, down. Oh, I can hear Bring your lips. I can hear the stampede now. Bring your yes. lips. <laughs> <laughs> when you think back on all the things that you've done in your career, what stands stands out to you? Because as you mentioned, my you did first many things. Movie. Oh, tell me about that. Uh, my first movie when I was nineteen. Uh, because first of all, I broke my mother's heart when I told her I didn't want to be a cop anymore, that yeah. she had to live in the projects a little longer. <laughs> Couldn't get her out. Wow. <laughs> and I made a deal with her. I said, look, Mom, if I can't make any money at this to have you living like my queen, yeah. the way you should be living, uh, I'll come back at 30, be eligible to go to Albany for the police academy. Right. 32 was the cutoff date uh, for eligibility to be an applicant. And uh, luckily, Chips gave me it. Yeah. She lived like a queen. I wouldn't let her work until That's she passed, great. you know? Yeah. So it was great. Um, the first movie, you were mentioning your, the movie. First movie was a movie called The Cross and the Switchblade. Oh. Pat Boone played the cross, I played the switchblade. Pat Boone. The guy I played is bringing people to Christ every day. He's a minister. Yeah. And David Wilkerson was played by Pat Boone. And Pat Boone's 90th birthday is coming up, and we gotta, I got to put myself on video to wish him a happy birthday. Yeah. Well, you were also in the movie Midway with Midway, Charlton Heston. Oh, Heston, yeah. and also I was in Airport 75 with Heston. Oh, wow. And uh, George C. Scott and the New Centurions, right after Pat, remember he turned, the first time I heard an actor turn down an Oscar, he got oh, nominated right. for it yeah. and won it, and yeah. he turned it down. And his next movie was the New Centurions. Wow. And then Hawaii Five-0. Yeah. So when you think back, when you when you do the Roadster show and things like that, I love it. You must see the generations of people who watched you over the decades, right? Yeah, and uh, luckily for me, the show was not only visually pleasant to watch. Right. Yes, uh, it was, Eric. Uh, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. tight uniform. Yeah, huh? it was very nice, <laughs> very pleasant to watch. But also, it was the kind of show you sat down at eight o'clock yeah. to end the weekend and start the new week right. with your mom, your dad, your grandfather, your grandfather, your grandmother, yeah. your first boyfriend, first girlfriend. Yeah, it was a feel good. So when people see me, they go, <gasps> oh, and then they remember yeah. subconsciously the warm, fuzzy feelings they had watching it with their dad and their yeah, mom. Yeah, I get you it. Know, you it you know, it, it was also a time in TV. So it was 77 to 83. Three, right. Right? And it was a time in TV where stars did things together, like the stars of all the TV shows. Mm -hmm. The networks got everybody together. Right. So you all, I would assume then you all became friends with all the other stars oh, in yeah, the same I know network, a lot of right? Them. A lot I mean, of we found this uh, roller skating event that chips held yes i was the uh the show in which uh, i had uh rehearsed for three days on roller skates to do a big disco dance at uh -huh. the end and then the day before it i had a motorcycle wreck where oh, i punched no. i punctured both my lungs broke this puppy right here oh wow see that? oh you can see this that. is normal this is not yeah <laughs> That's oh my a, goodness and um too bad because I was ready. I, I wanted to roll, yeah. but it happens. Yeah, there were, but it was so but fun to see all this. Everybody on everybody. It. Sid Caesar, Steve Allen, and his wife Ruth Jay Fuzzy. Meadows. Yeah, all Ed, Ed McMahon, all the all the good ones. Yeah. you also did after Chips. So you did like uh, 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 Dos Mujeres, Mexican Dos telenovela. Mujeres. Dos Mujeres. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm in Mexico shooting a movie and I'm talking in English because I grew up in the streets of New York. By the time I was 12, 13, my Spanish was garbage. Oh, wow. So, because I've always had to deal in the streets, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and you lose your, 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 the language. So, I was off in a soap opera and I tell the, the producer who's like the Aaron Spelling of soap operas in the, st in the Latin world, uh -huh. I said, thank you very much, but I don't know how to read or speak Spanish. Right. She definitely didn't know how to read it and pronounce properly. So uh, he said, ah, don't worry about it. Make it that you uh, grew up in Mexico. You were born in Mexico, grew up in San Diego, came back. So I'm figuring, all right, cool. Yeah. I'm going to be saying eight words in English and maybe two in Spanish, and I'm hoping it'll be si, no. <laughs> si, no. <laughs> so they... S they sent a script uh -huh. to my house two months later, and I can't read it. Uh-oh. It's all, oh, I can't read it. So yeah. I tell my manager, I can't insult this guy because it's, you know, it's, it, it's rude to say, no, thank you, yeah. I pass. So ask for this, 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 and this. Three months, right. three months, live in Mexico, do this thing. Uh, and... It, but ask for so much money that they're gonna turn around and go, oh, no, thank you very much, and they're gonna go over here. No. Yeah. They said yes. I said, oh, no, you gotta get me out of this. You don't understand. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I can't read it. How am I gonna do it? Right. Uh, so he went back and, and asked, I asked for a car, a driver, a chef, uh, a place to live, decorated to my liking, and, <laughs> and I want a piano in it. Uh -huh. I don't play a piano, but I like the look. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I try to make it so that they yeah. would just walk yeah, away. They said no, yeah, but no. They said yes. So there you go. So I went to Berlitz. Oh, oh, smart. That was went, very smart. Went to Berlitz yeah. for six weeks before I went down there to learn. We would shoot ten episodes a day, a hundred episodes, half a mil, half a mil for wow, the, the that's six. Fantastic. Hey, what? But and we ended up. I ended up living there for a year and a half. Oh wow. A year and a half. It, it was the longest running, highest rated soap opera in the history of Latin television. Wow. Still number one after 26 years. No way. That's incredible. Still number one. Yeah. Tell me about the reboot of Chips and then Michael Pena playing you. Oh, that was great. Well, yeah. he didn't play me. Oh, he didn't? Because remember, he was an FBI agent going undercover. Okay. And he took my identity because Ponch retired. Oh, that's right. Gotcha. So he took the name. That's right. Yeah. The other, I thought the movie was inappropriate. Oh. I, th yeah, I, uh, all the boys at CHP just turned their nose oh. on it. Pena was great. He did good. He's very funny. He's a very fine actor. Uh -huh. But what happened was uh, Dak uh, Shepherd, Shepherd, Shepherd. Uh -huh. licensed the name Chips. I think he paid five hundred thousand dollars to have the name Chips. Okay. From Warner Brother, Columbia Warner owns it now. Right. And he wrote his own thing. Oh, I see. When he should have just stayed along the venue of the and way, the narrative the of the chips. original. Yeah, the original. Because chips. instead of making $180 million, maybe he made $8 million. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And, and, you know, because you couldn't take your little nephew or niece to go see I it. I see what And you're tell saying. them, this is what daddy used to watch when he was a kid. Yeah, okay, I hear what you're saying. You know, but oh. the, the one thing I liked about it was... And the, they kept coming to my, they kept asking me to be in it. And I said, no, I'm done. I'm done with yeah. all that. And then finally they came to my home in the last week of film, to my home, mm -hmm. to hustle me. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'll do it. I'll tell you what, but it better be quick, swift, but you can't use my name on the billing. You can't put my name on the screen. You can't announce me. You can't advertise me being in it. Right. I want to walk through and say hi, bye. <laughs> And you did it. And I did it. Okay, I've got to talk to you about your doggies because yeah. you and I share a love My of dogs. dogs. You have five dogs. Uh, yeah, I also have a kennel license because in California you only allow three dogs. Oh, really? To a okay. home. Oh, I didn't know. So that. I took out a kennel license and I got five dogs. I got two pocket chihuahuas. Oh, look at these babies. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, that's Boo Boo and Bambi. Uh huh. And, <laughs> and then I've got an Australian shape, shape dog. That's. Your German Shepherd. That's the German Shepherd we just rescued from Yosemite. The guy had three of them, and he was going to pop them because, no. yeah, because he couldn't keep them, and he, he didn't want the coyotes to get them. Oh my! So God. my daughter heard about it. Yeah. She jumped in the car and drove up there, and Look grabbed at them this. all, and we kept one. And that's yeah. Luna. That's my daughter's favorite shepherd. 
Oh, adorable. Yeah, adorable. and I've got six canisters of my last six dogs. Yes, that's so sweet. Yeah, you no, love no. Them. I don't believe in burying my mother. Well, not who anyway. <laughs> that sounds weird, right? <laughs> uh, my mother at 88, I get a call. Bob, your mother, your mother is uh, falling down. So I get on a plane, I come back out yeah. to New York because I moved to the Central Park South. Had her living like a queen, yeah. you know, dormant and the whole thing out from the projects to Central right, Park nice. South. Right, nice, super nice, yeah. Yeah, super nice. Uh, and she had fallen down, so I flew out. I'm walking in the bath in, in the in the bedroom uh, in the hospital in the room, mm -hmm. and she's there yelling at these three tall nurses. And I walk in, ma. Yeah. And she made a face that I knew that, you know, she's 88 years old. Yeah. She has stints, she has yeah, pacemaker, yeah. diabetic, the whole thing, da, da, da. She, and I said, Ma, don't talk like that, it's embarrassing. She, and she made a face that really upset me because I said, wow, this is not my mother. Right. So yeah. finally I said, I know what you want, Ma. You don't like hospital, you don't like right. this, you want to get out of here, you want to go. So I said, we move the hospital room to the, to the apartment. Yeah, there you go, perfect. And yeah. in four days she went peacefully, but before she went, she said to me, Papo, Papo was my street name, mm -hmm. you know, I said, Papo, do not bury me. I said, Ma, you're a Catholic. I right. put yeah. this. She says, no, 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 because you're going to come, you're going to spend money, you're always spending money on me. You, nah, 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 nah. Don't bury me because you're going to come, you're going to put flowers, and I'm not going to be there. Okay. She says, but so I don't believe in burial. I believe in cremation, cremation yeah, I because yeah. burial is final. Right. Cremation is you've got to... They're, they're always there for they're you. They're always, always there, there with you. you. Yeah. Speaking of anyway, which, we're going to have you stay right here with us, because we're going to come back and talk about the Portland Roadster show that you're going to be pairing at. That's right. And you'll have the French kissing booth there and all of that, yeah. so we'll and, talk more no about biting. it. no biting. No biting. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest with Eric Estrada. Don't go away. Uh. <laughs>